It is cold this morning, which is kind of fitting for this video. Really cool things that I got my hands on. There is a Kickstarter for these things. Kickstarter is a website where new products or new companies can post their things and get funding for them before they actually roll it out as a full-blown like product for their website or their new business. The things I have in my hands are products made from NASA technology aerogel. This isn't like super new. There are other products that have been made with aerogel. These ones are for camping <laughs> and they're sleeping bag and a blanket. The blanket is more of like a home product. So I'll actually start with the sleeping bag. The idea of aerogel is that it is a lightweight, mostly air material that is thermal and nice and warm. I will be testing out this sleeping bag in a winter camping video in just hopefully a few weeks here. We'll see how the how things go. But I plan to be using this and giving you a full review of how it went. But for now, I can tell you what I've noticed so far. This sleeping bag is a great size for somebody who is my size. I'm 5'9", 5'10", somewhere in there. It's a great length. You can get a long version, but I think this one is good for me. The material is quiet, which I like. Some sleeping bags are excessively loud, and this one's more quiet. It also has a little temperature gauge kind of on the inside, so you can keep track of your temperature. I don't know how necessary that is, to be honest. Maybe some of you who do a lot of winter camping have a reason why that would be really important. But it is there, so you can kind of keep track of what the temperature is on the inside of the sleeping bag. It's also in Celsius, so uh, if you are a Celsius person or understand Celsius, then it is more helpful for you. But uh, it's kind of a cool feature. This sleeping bag is a negative 40 degree sleeping bag. Negative 40 degrees is the same in Celsius and Fahrenheit, so it doesn't matter which one you're using. However, as with any sleeping bag, the temperature that they advertise is usually like the limits. So negative 40 degrees is the limit of this product. The comfort level is negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about negative 15 degrees Celsius, meaning you probably want to use this around 0 to negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's going to be much colder than that, you won't be comfortable. However, I do think that is great for my type of camping because I don't personally want to go camping any colder than that. So I think that's a good range for myself. But depending on what you're looking for, don't buy a negative 40 degree sleeping bag at all. Not just this one, but any sleeping bag if you plan on going camping in actual negative 40 degree weather uh, because that is like the extreme usually of the sleeping bag. So something to keep in mind, but at my first glance, first look at this, I think it's great. And I wanted to show you before I actually test it because how Kickstarters work is they have like a set amount of time where they're running their campaign and the campaign for this is going on right now. I wanted to let you know in case you wanted to try and get one. A lot of times prices on Kickstarter are a little bit more affordable than when they actually roll the product out full force. You kind of get a deal sometimes. The blanket, this is an aerogel blanket, which usually aerogel blankets are kind of firm and rubbery because of the aerogel in it, but this one is nice and flexible. And it's also keeping me warm right now. Right now it, it is below zero outside. So it's pretty cold. But keeping this on me, honestly, I'm pretty warm. This blanket is a little bit heavy. If you're somebody who likes heavy blankets but weighted blankets are just a little bit too much. Honestly, that's kind of what I like about it most. Is it's kind of a heavier blanket. It is a very warm blanket. <laughs> I kind of get too warm sitting in the house using this blanket. But I'm imagining bringing this blanket to the cabin where we sometimes just are a little bit more chilly. The duvet I have at the cabin is extremely warm, but once we have a couch, this would be the perfect blanket for the sitting on the couch at the cabin or even sitting out on the porch. Just sitting like this out here, even with how cold it is, it's kind of nice. So I'm honestly like super excited about this blanket. The sleeping bag is awesome, but I don't go winter camping like every day, but I can use this blanket every day. I'm one of those people that likes to be really warm. <laughs> if you couldn't tell by my obsession with my heated gloves lately. <laughs> when I looked at the Kickstarter, they did say that this blanket was like a large enough for a family of four. I think that's a little bit of a stretch, but it is a big blanket. If you have like four small people in your family maybe, but it's perfect to use as an extra blanket on our queen size bed, but it's not quite as big as our queen size comforter in general, but 
it's perfect. Like I said, I'm probably going to use this on the couch. This is just a quick little video to show you these things and to kind of explain it to you a little bit before I go winter camping and I will update you on what it's like after I use it. I don't imagine being cold in the sleeping bag at all. These products are pretty warm. So thanks for watching. If there are products specifically that you would like me to try and review on this channel, let me know in the comments and I can do more review videos. I guess I just don't always sit down and talk about what I've liked and what I haven't liked. 